Hi, my name is Alex Janis. I'm a robotic operator here at the Servicing Technology Center. So the test I want to talk to you guys about today is called Broxit. And this is a remote fluid transfer test, which is going to be performed by taking this robot and sending it down to Kennedy Space Center in Florida. And myself, I'm going to be the operator right here at NASA Goddard. Some of the challenging aspects of this task include uh, this valve. This is a standard satellite valve that they use for filling satellite with fuel on the ground, and then it's sealed up, never meant to be opened again in space. My job is going to be to fly up a line to and access this servicing valve. So if you can imagine, this would be a servicing arm in space, this tool would be our tool, and this would access a satellite that's already in space. Another hard aspect about this test is that I'm going to be commanding the robot from here at NASA Goddard. So when I'm commanding and I'm telling the robot to go forward, up, down, left, right, and align it, there's going to be a time delay between when I send a command and when the robot actually receives the command itself. So the fluid we're going to be using during this test is called NTO. And it's one of two fluids that are combined on a spacecraft in order to create an explosion to propel a spacecraft forward in space. Now this is very corrosive, dangerous fluid, so when we're performing the test down in Florida, any humans within several hundred feet of the work site actually have to be wearing huge, big uh, safety protective gear. This test is all part of a greater effort to continue maturing and advancing the technology needed to repair and fuel satellites in space that will last longer. So tune in early 2014 to watch me drive this robot and perform the actual refueling test.